Awesome. All right, welcome to our Tuesday team call. We're going to be talking products tonight. Yay, my favorite. So without further ado, I'm going to go and turn the time over to the amazing Rachel Johns. She is a silver ambassador. She is just one of the neatest people I know. She's very knowledgeable. She's a registered dietitian, and I always learn so much every time I hear her talk. So I'm just really excited to have her um, give us some training on our flagship product, the Plexus Slim and Blood Sugar Balance. Thanks, Kathy. You're sweet. So I am really excited to talk about Slim. It is um, why I started Plexus was I needed the blood sugar balance. Um, I've had wanty blood sugar. I've had low blood sugar specifically um, most of my life. And um, it's what I love about Plexus. So um, I want to just start out. So I want to really talk about blood sugar because I feel like that's like the guts of the Slim. But um, for those of you who know that Slim was reformulated this spring, some of you might be new and not aware, but it was reformulated and there's a few new things. So basically they added prebiotics and you might be wondering, well, why do we need prebiotics? We already have probiotics. So a quick explanation is just that a prebiotic is something that feeds the probiotic. So when we take a prebiotic, we aren't feeding ourselves. We're not getting, you know, calories or energy or anything from it. It's just feeding those good bacteria to help them to colonize and get established. And um, we're going to talk about gut health a little bit later. But another thing that I love about the new Slim is, so a little confusion is some people think it has acromantia. It doesn't have acromantia, but it increases our acromantia. Acromantia is a microbe in our body. And um, so just today, kind of in prep for this call, I was looking through PubMed at different articles about acromantia and some of the studies going on. And it's awesome. It was making me so excited. One of the studies I was looking at was talking about how um, acromantia is associated with people, or higher acrom acromantia is associated with people with a healthier metabolic status. And they were looking at things like glucose metabolism, um, triglycerides, body fat distribution, and basically, you know, just finding that um, there's a higher level of acromantia in lean people. And, um, and, and the study was talking about how we need to study this more. And to me, that's so exciting because here we are, we are on like the cutting edge of this science and, you know, we're just right there, a step in the right direction. And so I think this is something that's huge and we're going to talk about gut health and all of that, but um, it's awesome. So we are definitely going in the right direction. Our company is definitely the health and happiness company. So um, blood sugar, that's really what I want to talk about. Um, before you tune out and you think like, I'm not diabetic, I don't have blood sugar problems, it's estimated that 50% of Americans have insulin resistance and don't know it, um, which is just something that kind of leads to diabetes. And blood sugar affects all of us. And blood sugar helps us do things like it helps with our, it helps with our sleep. It helps us to fall asleep, to stay asleep. It helps with our mental clarity. Um, it helps with our energy. It helps with our nervous system, our mood, our eyesight. Basically, sugar is what fuels our body. It fuels our muscles so we can move our body. It fuels our brain so we can think. And um, our body is best when our blood sugar is in a narrow range. When your blood sugar is up and down and all over the place, you don't feel well. Um, I can attest to that because I've had that most of my life. I've got a little boy who has blood sugar issues. And when your blood sugar is dropping or spiking, you're grumpy, you're irritable, you don't feel good, you don't have energy. And, um, and when it's doing that in the night, it's doing that, or when it's doing that during the day, it's doing that at night as well, which can affect your sleep and add to your lack of energy and all of those types of things. So it really is best just really in a narrow range. So um, without going into, I don't want to go into too much because we have so much to talk about, but that's kind of the basics. It's really, really important. And so how do we take our slim? Um, if you're new and you probably know you take it 30 minutes before a meal, I personally take it first thing in the morning because I need the help all day long. 
but I know lots of people who take it before lunch or other times of the day for various reasons, and it really can help you anytime. So that's really nice. Um, one thing I like to talk about with the Slim is I've had people come to me and say, you know, I've been on the Slim for however long, and I'm still craving sugar. I'm still having a hard time with my cravings. And I like to just talk to people about that because Plexus can help with our sugar cravings, our physiological sugar cravings, things like blood sugar. When your blood sugar is dropping, you're going to crave sugar because your body knows that's what's going to make it feel better and bring it back up. Um, up from the gut health side, when you've got an overgrowth of yeast, that's going to send a message to your brain to eat sugar because that's what feeds yeast. And so there are these aspects of sugar cravings that Plexus can really help with, really help. It's helped me a ton, but what it can't help with is your memory or more specifically your habits. So if you were like I was before Plexus and you ate a bowl of ice cream every night before bed and you start taking Plexus, you, you may or may not feel like eating that bowl of ice cream, but you're gonna remember it's eight o'clock. My kids are in bed. Everyone's alive. We survived the day. It's time for a bowl of ice cream. And so it's really important to, to set yourself up with goals and steps and um, to reach your desired outcomes. So if you're wanting help with your sugar cravings, for me, I took really small steps. I made, you know, weekly goals or goals for however long it took me to achieve. And I started small with drinking my water, half of my body weight in water, because that's super important for the slim to work. And I started there and I moved up until I got to the point where I wanted to be, where I wasn't having a bowl of ice cream every night and I could, you know, find another reward system. Um, that I think is really important for everyone to find out what motivates you and how to reward yourself if you have that type of mindset but um, really use it as a tool. If you're used to finishing your plate and you don't feel like it, stop. You don't have to finish your plate. You don't have to order a, you know, a big meal at a restaurant and eat the whole thing or whatever it is that you were doing before. It's really important for Slim to work, for you to be in tune with your body and to listen to the messages that it's telling you. So, that's just what I wanted to share about Slim and um, awesome. That's great. I love how you said that too about having some health goals and working with the Slim. You know, for us, one of the big things is that um, it changed the way that soda tasted for me. But when I think back, when I started Plexus, I wanted to lose weight, like a lot of people do. And so we knew that drinking soda every day was a real problem for us. So the first week that we started Slim, we quit drinking soda for the whole week. I said, I can give it up for one week. And then at the end of the week, when I went to celebrate by having a soda, <laughs> um, and I went to taste it, it tasted nasty. And I kind of wonder if I hadn't set that goal, if I had just kept drinking soda every day along with my Slim, would it still have helped with that change in taste or did I need to give my body a little reset? So I think that's really important about setting some realistic um, goals and some health, um, some health goals along the way along with taking your products. So that's really, really good. Thanks so much, Rachel. All right, we're going to hear from... Um, does anybody have any questions for Rachel, first of all, about the Slim ingredients or any clarification on any of that that she talked about? Michelle, if you do, just unmute yourself real quick. Okay. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about the chlorogenic acid and how that works. Um, can we just, like, you know, like a two-minute little blip that I can – explain to somebody in layman's terms so it would be easy to understand. Do you want to answer that, Rachel, or do you want... To be honest, I have pregnancy brain right now, and I just, I mean, I could look through my notes I have in my computer, and I could send you something, but I can't just rattle it off right now. No. I, know, I know a little bit about that one. So chlorogenic acid is actually a natural compound. We extract it from the green coffee bean just because it's easier to do it from there than other things, but it's in other things like bamboo and prunes and all sorts of different plants. Um, but they mainly put it in there because it is a natural fat burner. Um, it disrupts some enzymatic process 
that is involved with fat storage. So it both helps to burn fat and it also helps to prevent more fat from being stored. That's a really short answer, but there's tons That's of studies out there about it. Chlorogenic acid's been really highly studied. Okay, awesome, thanks. No problem. Okay, anybody else? Questions, chat box, you can unmute yourself. Okay, then let's go in here from Beth Summer. She's just gonna share a little bit about her experience on the Slim and some of the other products. Um, we thought we'd mix in some kind of some experiences along with the sciencey stuff so it doesn't get too dry and boring. <laughs> Unless you're a science nerd like me. Okay, take it away, Beth. Oh, no pressure to not be dry and boring. Um, okay, so my name is Beth Summers, for those of you who don't know me. Um, I've been on the products for just over three years, and uh, before I started Plexus, I'm a pretty high-functioning individual, and I consider myself a really healthy person all through my life. Um, after my fifth child was born, I found myself in a state of depression and anxiety, and that was something that really snuck up on me. Uh, that I didn't really know how to handle and it didn't make sense and I just couldn't I had a really hard time wrapping my brain around it I was also struggling because um, my doctor he had put me on antidepressants and he had recommended that I exercise and get out in the sun and do all these things and and so I would try and I would exercise and I really usually enjoy exercise but anytime I did I would end up crashing for three days after and more and I um, like I said I had five kids and I wasn't it wasn't the mother that I wanted to be and I found myself in my bed a lot and napping all the time because I just couldn't I couldn't get well rested enough I got plenty of sleep but I just never felt I never felt energized and I never felt that I also was going through a lot of, I was experiencing a lot of pain. I had a lot of issues with my lower back. Um, I had this pain in my hip that I could not massage or stretch or visit my chiropractor. It wouldn't go away. Um, but I also was experiencing a series of um, breast infections. And after about my third round of six or seven that I had after my child was born, um, I just started thinking that this isn't, this isn't your typical mastitis infection. I had had it before and I understood what, how to prevent it and how to work through it and, and it would just sneak up on me. And um, I had an aha moment one day that it was not actually mastitis, it was related to yeast. And it was something that one of the lactation nurses that I had worked with had uh, planted in my brain years prior. And so I started looking into it and, and treating my infection as a yeast infection, not a bacterial infection, and was able to get some relief that way. So I looked into candida and I started learning about that and realized that I could be a poster child with all that I was experiencing. Um, and so I looked into what treatment would entail and, and most of it involved an elimination diet. In fact, every option that I looked up involved an elimination diet. And I really wasn't in a place uh, mentally or emotionally to think about preparing different food for myself um, as well as for my large family and young and needy family. <laughs> so uh, I just figured I would be miserable. And so my friend started posting about these products and mentioned that it could help with candida without needing an elimination diet. And I was curious and asked more questions and decided that it probably wouldn't work, but I would go for it anyway. So within three days of taking the products, I decided I would try to exercise. Um, and so I got put in a little exercise video and it froze on me about 17 minutes in. And before, I would have just considered that good and quit. But I had more energy and I wanted to keep going. So I put in another 30 minute video and I went through that and I stood there in my living room when that one was done. And I felt like I could go on more and I wasn't hitting that wall and experiencing that fatigue so deeply like I had been before. So I was pretty thrilled and that was a really huge breakthrough for me. And that was the start of me getting back to my normal and getting back to the energy that I needed where I could play with my kids and get them to and from school and I didn't have to pawn them off onto uh, babysitters all the time because that's what I had been doing but I also started noticing that the pain in my hip went away without any stretching or exercise or massage or whatever and my lower back pain started going away 
And over even more time, I started realizing that I wasn't experiencing seasonal allergies anymore. Um, I was no longer depressed. My skin was clearing up and I wasn't getting sick as often. I was sleeping well and I had energies and, um, and I wasn't craving crap. Like I didn't really eat. I make a lot of my own food and I wasn't eating horribly to begin with, but I, but I did have a sweet tooth. I do have a sweet tooth. I love, love sweets. Um, but I was noticing that I couldn't tolerate what I used to be able to. And, um, and I didn't want it as often. And that was also a really huge breakthrough for me and, uh, really empowered me to feel like, well, Hey, I can do, I can do anything. And, uh, anyway, so it's, it's been a great experience and that's just kind of been a little blip out of my story. And I continue to experience amazing benefits that I thought were never possible. So there you have it. That's awesome. Hey Beth, have you had any weight loss on the products? Um, yeah, I didn't, I had a little bit of weight loss in the beginning and I think a lot of it was water weight. And in the beginning, I wasn't really focusing on weight loss because it just wasn't, wasn't a priority. And when you're feeling good, you don't, you don't stress so much over how much you weigh. And I just kind of came to a spot where I just decided to be happy with where I was. Um, but this year I decided, you know, this is kind of dumb for me to not be trying to lose weight because I don't crave the crap that I do anymore. Um, and so at the start of this year, I really started to, to hit it hard and just make a plan that was already working with what I was experiencing, especially in terms of cravings. Um, so this year I've lost 32 pounds. Um, my goal for the year is 50 and yeah, and that's pretty good considering my living situation is a little, um, up in the air right now. So, uh, my, my plan hasn't gone, uh, quite on schedule like I wanted it to. Um, but yeah, no, I'm still, I have been able to lose weight and my body has responded quicker. Um, to my efforts than it ever has before. That is awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna go and hat, turn the time over to um, our resident gut health expert. That's what I like to think of her as, Kim Reader. She just knows all about gut health. She's been studying it for years and years, even before she came up on Plexus, and um, has a really good understanding of it. I love how she explains it. So we're gonna have Kim, if you can unmute yourself and explain to us a little bit about gut health and some of our gut health products. All right. Well, thank you, Kathy. I have been studying gut health for a long time because like Beth was talking about, I had all the candida symptoms in high school. I um, had horrible brain fog, just chronic fatigue. The fatigue was the worst. Like she said, she was getting plenty of sleep, but just never got rested. That was me. I slept as much as humanly possible and still just never felt rested. And I would go to the doctors and they would say, oh, you just need to sleep more. And I would be like, are you kidding me? Sometimes you have to get up and go to the bathroom and eat. So um, the fatigue was the worst for me. I struggled with my chronic fatigue and my chronic mono and just autoimmune issues for about six years before I learned the word candida and leaky gut. And just learning that vocabulary helped me be able to turn that around because the doctors really couldn't. They just had just were offering antidepressants by that point and, and didn't really have anything else for me. Um, but learning that word, I was able to go on that elimination diet like Beth was talking about and I cut out everything. By this time I had my oldest son and um, he was struggling with gut health issues as well because he was born during the height of my gut health issues and um, your gut bacteria is passed on or not depending on whether you have it to pass on or not. And so he was going through this elimination diet with me too. And at one point he looked at me with this cute little boy, big brown eyes and said, mom, are we allergic to forks? And that kind of just broke my heart because really we were on that strict of an elimination diet that he thought we were allergic to forks. We were not, we could use forks. But um, so I tried to manage this gut health thing for years with just diet and other supplements. I've tried hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of supplements over the years. And so when I saw Plexus, I immediately recognized several of the ingredients in there and how they had combined those different ingredients is absolutely genius. This um, ProBio 5 is, is the genius product I've been looking for this whole time. They have combined 
the probiotics with enzymes and the grape seed extract. And all of those things were things I was taking in separate little bottles. And I guarantee I was paying a ton more than the probio five costs. And um, since I started on the triplex combo, almost three years ago now, it was three years, it'll be three years in um, October. Um, I haven't had a single relapse with my autoimmune issues. So that is huge, huge, huge for me. Uh, anybody who has experienced autoimmune issues know that you go through periods of exacerbation and remission. Those are my big fancy science words I learned in school. But um, you'll go through times when you're, you're okay and times when you're just awful. And exercise for me, like Beth was talking about, it would just wipe me out for weeks. I could go and exercise and then I would sleep for two weeks to just to recover from that. So that, that was really hard to not be able to go out and exercise. I'm very used to being active. I was a long distance runner before I got sick, did tons and tons of stuff with my family who camped, hunted, hiked, snowmobiled, skied, all of that. And once I had started this autoimmune stuff, that was all gone. I could manage my health by avoiding all stress and only eating what was on my elimination diet. And okay, it wasn't really living. I was, I felt pretty good, but I couldn't go visit my family. I couldn't, you really can't do anything if you're trying to avoid stress and avoid any of the fun party foods. So um, when I saw Kathy posting about Plexus, I immediately knew we were onto something really good. Um, my son, who I've talked about before with the gut health issues, he, because of his gut health issues, he would hold his poop in. And so he was chronically constipated. It hurt to go to the bathroom, so he wouldn't. So it would hurt to go to the bathroom, so he wouldn't. So it would hurt to go to the bathroom. It was just this horrible, horrible cycle. And I would take him to doctors, and they would give him, we've tried suppositories, we tried fiber supplements, we tried oh so many things, tons and tons of stuff for him to try to just help regulate that. And um, this stuff has been amazing. This is our bio cleanse. It's an oxygenated magnesium supplement. Since he has started taking that, it helped him not be afraid to go to the bathroom. And so he actually does it now. It's a miracle. There were several years there where he would not go to the bathroom without an enema. And he was starting to get older. And I knew I couldn't go to scout camp with him. And I couldn't go. It's, it's not very liberating to not be able to poop without your mama. So we needed to do something. Um, Desiree, you're asking me how many he takes a day. He actually is not super good about taking it regularly now. Um, but in the beginning he was just taking one, maybe two a day. And that was enough for him. The way that his body was working was it was mostly fear-based. He just was afraid to poop because it hurt. And so by softening it up enough, enough times he was able to learn that it's okay. Um, so now he'll still go and take it when he starts to feel like he needs it, but he doesn't take it consistently every day. I do try really hard to make sure he's getting the ProBio 5 and the Vital Biome every day, um, but he is a 16 year old kid. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it's better than others. Um, so these two have been something that we've taken in our family. I take them every day. I never ever miss a day with these products. I take um, two ProBio 5 every night before I go to bed. And I usually take two BioCleanse during the day. Sometimes it's up to four. Sometimes I just take one. BioCleanse is one that you really are gonna pay attention to your body and see what you need. You can take upwards of six if you need to. Um, it's not going to be like you think of when you think of a cleanse. That means you can't go more than five feet from the bathroom. That's not how this one works. It's a very, very gentle cleanse. It just helps things work. It helps get all of the, um, the bad bugs and the toxins and the things that you need to eliminate out of your gut. So these two, this was one of those that was the amazing combinations that I saw. The bio cleanse was the piece I'd been missing the whole time. I knew about the chromium and slim. I knew about chlorogenic acid. I knew about all of that stuff and could take those in different things. However, the way that they're put together in Slim, especially with the prebiotics now, is genius. But I didn't have the oxygenated magnesium supplement in the other ones. So to combine the Slim, the BioCleanse, and the ProBio5, that has been the biggest key for my personal gut health. 
um, because the slim helps you get the chromium supplements. If you're deficient in chromium, you're going to crave sugar and then you're going to eat sugar, which is going to feed the candida in your body, which is going to make you crave sugar more, which is going to feed more candida. It's just one of those negative cycles that you have to turn around and start going this way. So the slim helped regulate my blood sugar, helped get rid of the sugar cravings because I had enough chromium in it. The probio five, helps actually go in and it will punch holes in that yeast cell wall and it will kill it. A normal probiotic will put in the good bugs, but it doesn't do anything for the bad bugs. That's why our probio five is so genius. It's got those enzymes in it, helps you actually digest the stuff that you're eating so that you can process it and use it. It'll actually go in and kill the bad bugs and help you get rid of it and make Base. We talk about um, a garden analogy. And if you go out and you just start casting seeds on an overgrown weedy lot, those good seeds aren't actually going to have any place to take root and grow. So the ProBio 5 really helps to weed out the bad bugs. That is where its genius lies. I will take it every day because we are constantly being exposed to things that are going to feed the bad bugs. You're, you're going to eat sugar. I, I really do try not to eat sugar. The World Health Organization recommends you keep your sugar under 25 grams a day. That's one yogurt for breakfast, and you've got your 25 grams of sugar for the entire day. And that's not lunch, dinner, snacks, anything. So I do try to hit that number of keeping things less than 25 grams a day, but I will tell you I'm not perfect at it. And I really feel like that the ProBio 5 helps me have just a little bit of insurance and helps keep things balanced. Um, so this one weeds. And then you know that if you go out and you pull all the weeds in the garden and you just leave them in there, they're still not going to be any place for the good stuff to take root and grow. So our bio cleanse is like what flushes all those weeds out. It's like taking the trash out. It gets rid of the bad bugs and leaves space in your gut for the good bugs to colonize. And then this new one, we just barely got this spring. It's the vital biome. I am seriously loving this, loving it so much. It's got eight strains of probiotics in it that have been clinically proven to help boost mood, help um, reduce feelings of stress and feelings of anxiety. It will help with your digestion and helps, um, you don't have that bloating in that. It just helps, all those good bugs help digest your food. You think that you're feeding your body when you feed food, or you eat food, what you're really doing is feeding the bugs in your gut. And depending on the kinds of bugs you have in your gut will determine how you break down food when you eat it. So my son, who I've talked about a little bit, he, he is on the autism spectrum. Kids like that, so I can't speak for all of them. I only study what I care about and it's him. So I can tell you what I've learned as I've been studying for him. And basically what I've learned is that kids with autism simply don't have as much gut flora. They're, they just don't have the number of bugs. They don't have the variety of strains and they don't have as many of the individual bugs. And so they don't digest well. Their stomachs hurt a lot. They don't break down um, the gluten and the I'm, I'm, I'm just blanking on it. The wheat and the dairy, they don't, casein, I think that's what I'm looking for. They won't break them fully down. They break them down into an opiate-like compound, which then blocks, I'm totally nerding out on you right now, but it'll block what's called a moo receptor. And the moo receptor is the thing that tells you you need to poop. And so if that's blocked, you don't get the message, hey, I need to poop, which was part of his problem. He just wasn't getting the message, you need to go poop. And then by the time he did figure it out, it was too late. He was totally backed up. So by increasing, getting rid of the bad bugs, getting him that oxygenated magnesium supplement, and then adding the good bugs back in to help him really digest has made a huge, huge difference. Um, he and I both started this Vital Biome when it came out. And I feel like I've been happier but it's not, none of the Plexus products really are like, woo, that was awesome, totally cool for me. It's very, very subtle. A lot of the times you don't even notice what it's doing for you until you quit. And then you're like, oh, my foot didn't hurt. And I didn't get a sore after exercising. And it really was balancing my blood sugar. And so it's really, really subtle changes that, that are difficult to notice if you're not really paying attention to them. Because you might say, oh, I'm just taking it for weight loss. And then 
you'll go, oh, you know, my foot used to hurt when I walked upstairs and it doesn't anymore. So you have to pay attention to them. So I can't say for sure, sure, sure that I'm like, oh, I'm not stressed or anxious anymore. Um, but I can tell you, I've noticed a huge difference in him. He's still a computer nerd. He loves to program. He's not super, super social. But when he's taking this, he does interact more normally. Been arranging more phone calls with his friends so that they can program together and just being a little bit more social. So I think that that's really a testament that it's lowering his anxiety and helping improve his mood. So I really, 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 really love, honestly, I only take the slim about every other day because I've got enough chromium and it keeps my blood sugar balance. But these three are the ones that I live off of. And we order tons of these because I do have my whole family on them when I can get them to remember to take them, but I never, ever forget. So that's all I had, Kathy. If I forgot anything or missed anything, feel free to ask another question and I'll. Well, um, Joy Hendricks asked, she said, I wonder if gut health can help cysts. My daughter has an eating disorder and she is constantly sick. Do you know anything about that? I mean, obviously we all know pretty much Joy, you can, you can Google gut health and, and put in any kind of disorder and you, you can find a tie to it. Gut health is kind of tied to everything in our body, but do you have anything specific you would say to that, Kim, at all? At all? Um, I don't know specific to cysts, um, except that that would be an abnormal growth of tissue. And anytime, it's, most of your immune system is housed in your gut. So if you've got something that your immune system is overreacting to or underreacting to, it usually does come back to a gut health problem. Um, I can speak to canker sores. I've got my husband and my kids get canker sores really bad. And it's, they've done tons of research on it. And we've tried to supplement with L-lysine because it was an amino acid thing. But really what it does is it comes down to the bacteria that are in your gut are what's breaking down your food. So if it's not being broken down properly, if you're missing one enzyme, if you're missing just one step in the process, even if you're eating the food that has all the things that your body needs, it's not being broken down into a usable thing. Like colonin is casein and is gluten and um, the l lysine thing. It, it's so related and it's so fascinating to me, but I can't say, oh yes, take this, it'll fix your cysts because there are so many different pieces that are interrelated that, you know, but it can't help or it can't hurt to try to boost your immune system and just get your body working properly. That's why I love Plexus is it's not a Band-Aid. It's not a here, take this and it'll mask this symptom, but we're really rebalancing the gut. We're rebalancing the blood sugar. We're getting rid of the inflammation. And once you do those three things, it's amazing how much your body can heal itself. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, also, Brooke Meglin just asked about, um, you know, how's the protein powder? Um, the protein powder is awesome, Brooke. It, I think most people on here would chime in and say the taste is really good compared to a lot of protein powders out there. My kids uh, are pretty picky. I've tried a lot of different protein powders because um, they're not very good about eating protein <laughs> in their diet, but they like green smoothies. And that's the only one that they really, really like. They beg me for that. So the flavor is great. It's also cold pressed. Um, which helps to preserve nutritional value because it comes in individual packets. When you open a big tub of protein, every time you open it and the air gets in, that oxygen breaks down the um, nutritional value. Yeah, which is also why it comes home of the Vital Biome. The Vital Biome um, bottle is like super thick. When you order that, you'll notice the plastic on it. It's really, really thick and heavy duty. It's because if the air gets in there, the oxygen breaks down those good probiotics in there, makes them less effective. So always make sure you screw that lid back on real tight. Take your probio out fast and put, you know, vital biome out fast and put the lid right back on. But the pro, you know, that protein powder is individually packaged so that it maintains the highest level of um, nutritional value that it can. Um, Grass-fed, um, non-GMO, it's completely gluten-free. Um, so it's a really, really good protein powder. Um, let me know if you have any more questions on that. Just type it in. I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Ashley says, I used to struggle with ovarian cysts, and I have not had one since I've been on the products. Um, and I'm actually going to share a cyst story in just a minute here, Joy. Um, see if there's anything else. 
Ashley said she actually had an OB tell her that she was going to have difficulty being pregnant because of all the cysts and scar tissue. Um, and in the three years she's been on the product, she hasn't had one. Yeah, and the protein powder is not gritty. Very good. Okay, I think that catches us up on the chat. <laughs> I want to hear Michelle Castillo's story. She has an amazing experience. And I just like hearing different people's experiences because I think it helps to open our eyes to what the products can do for people. I think we're very, we, we're, a lot of us are in a Western medicine kind of pharmaceutical mindset where we say, okay, I have a fever, I take a Tylenol. I have allergies, I take a Zyrtec. I have, you know, it's like there's this one product fixes this one thing because there's only one or two chemicals in those products. But like Kim said, because we're addressing root issues, sometimes things happen that we weren't even expecting for. We, we started because we wanted weight loss or we started because we wanted relief from headaches and all of a sudden all these other good health benefits start happening because we're, we're balancing the body out at the, at the foundational level. So um, Michelle, if you can share with us real quick your story, I think it's, it's really inspiring. Thank you. Um, okay, so I am going to start back in 2013. Um, I had played college basketball, so athletic, I was running. Um, I had two girls at the time, and I was living in Pullman, Washington. If anybody knows where that's at, there's tons of hills, and it's college town. So I was pushing my girls in a double running stroller. I was running approximately five miles a day. I was eating healthy um, and I was still gaining weight and which really sucks <laughs> when you're putting in all that effort and you know, you're watching what you're eating. Um, I had even gone through my cabinets and pulled out anything with high fructose corn syrup and thrown it away. Um, so uh, props to Oprah. I was watching Oprah one day and she said, um, you know, a lot of times when you're tired, you guys can go get your thyroid checked. Um, so I was like, well, pretty much tried everything else. I'm going to go do that. So my thyroid checked and they basically said it was working like 0%, almost non-functioning. So I was on the highest level of levothyroxin that you can be on. Um, so I just kind of went about my daily life and we're doing blood panel work just to check everything else out. And I was 25 at the time. So I was being put on thyroid medication and found out that I had um, cholesterol issues. My cholesterol was 251. For a 25 year old, it's awful. <laughs> the, the doctor was extremely surprised and basically said, your cholesterol levels are like a 60 year old man. So I figured, well, I've read a lot about just diet and exercise and I'm gonna continue to do that. I didn't wanna be on any medication for, for um, high cholesterol. My husband was going to pharmacy school at the time. He had his own opinions on it, so we just focused on diet and exercise. So um, fast forward a little while, we graduated pharmacy school. I say we because I was as much part of that as he was. <laughs> um, we moved to Texas. Uh, he got a job down there, um, and so I had four kids at the time, and uh, I was exhausted. I was just so tired. I mean, four kids, they were under seven at the time and he was working a lot. Uh, we just bought a house and I ended up passing out, hitting my head on the side of a windowsill and actually having some seizures. Um, so we went through like a battery of testing and uh, found out that I had epilepsy. And I had had it since I was 15, and I had no idea. Um, I have a type of seizure called a tonic seizure, which is pretty mild. Um, you kind of space out, you lose some time, and you just feel really sick and nauseous afterwards. So they put me on some medication for seizures, and that was my tipping point. I literally stuck my kids in front of the TV. I would take naps during the day. I was not the mom I wanted to be. I wanted to take my kids uh, to the park. I'm sorry, it gets me so emotional when I think about it. <laughs> um, sorry, it's just really hard. <laughs> um, I compose myself. <sighs> so right about this time, my sister-in-law started posting um, about Plexus and about the energy that she was having. 
and I literally had tried everything, you know? Um, so I just jumped on board. I became an ambassador and I said, you know, I trust her completely with everything that she's doing. Um, what do I have to lose really? So I started and I noticed a jump in energy, like the first three weeks that I was on and I just took slim. That was all I took. Um, Wow, this is not how I wanted to do this, but I'm going <laughs> to keep going. Um, so basically, so I had my seizure medication, and I had my thyroid medication, and my cholesterol, and I started doing slim, and after you have seizures, you can't drive for six months, and you have to get your blood drawn and make sure your medication's right, and so I would go in every six months and get my blood drawn. Um, so I'm just going to pull up my notes here. So just from being on Plexus, I think it was two and a half months into that that I had everything drawn. Um, they reduced my thyroid meds by 50 micrograms, which is awesome. Um, my thyroid stuff was getting under control, and I hadn't changed anything. I was still relatively exercising as much as I could stand. I was eating healthy, um, and my cholesterol went down from 251 to 213. <laughs> which is, I mean, for me, that was awesome because I was thinking, you know, like high cholesterol, that's really, you know, serious heart related stuff. So, um, so cholesterol was down, thyroid was down. My actually LDL was, or the good cholesterol was up. So they weren't worried about my number being over 200. Uh, and for my seizures, my triggers were lack of sleep and stress. So having the blood sugar leveling in my body made all the difference in the world. I was able to take my kids to the park. I started exercising more than I was. I was sleeping better. I didn't even know I had issues sleeping until I started doing the slim, which is just another one of those benefits where you don't realize it until it's happening. And then you're like, wow, like I wake up. I typically do well with like six hours and those six hours are quality, not quantity. So, um, over, I think I've been, I just had my plex anniversary in February for two years. Um, so I've been on the products for that long and I'm down 24 pounds and I have not had a seizure, not one. So I just get so emotional because it really does help. And that's why I love this so much is that there's so many other things that you guys, the benefits from all of these things that we don't see that we can reach out and help somebody. I mean, that's what I tell people. If I can help just one person with even one of my side things like sleeping or anything like that, I mean, it's all worth it. So um, God bless Contessa for sharing and all of that stuff. And I hope I didn't make anyone cry, but this is, typically how this goes and I just can't stop it. So, um, yeah, I can't, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you definitely made me cry, but it was a good kind of cry. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Michelle. I love that. It was so inspiring. Um, yeah, I just think a lot of times we don't even realize how many of our friends are suffering or like Michelle, like I didn't realize I didn't sleep well until I started sleeping well and could see the difference and went, Oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> wow, that's what a good night's sleep feels like. And like you, you can get so much more done when you only need six or seven hours of sleep a night instead of 12 or 14 to feel decent. So um, I love sharing about these products because they're literally changing people's lives. Um, I hear people sometimes say, well, I just can't afford these products. And I think, oh, especially when I know their situation, I think you can't afford not to be on these products because it can make such a huge difference. So thank you for sharing that. I'll be really brief. I'm going to talk about two more products real quick. Our X Factor Plus, which is a multivitamin and our Mega X, which is our um, Omega. I'm going to be really, really quick, um, but I'm going to share just a little bit about my story. So I have um, low thyroid, kind of like Michelle. It's a little different. I have an autoimmune disease called um, Hashimoto's, which is where my immune system attacks my thyroid. And so I get autoimmune flares as well as dealing with low thyroid. Um, I started on just the slim alone and that helped me with my sugar cravings and with my energy a little, but I kept hearing everybody talk about this crazy energy and I didn't feel a big difference on my energy at all until eight weeks on slim and probio five. For me, that gut health component was really key that that combination. 
And when I started sleeping really well, then I started feeling that. And it was like, oh, there's that energy everybody's been talking about. So everybody's different. Don't be discouraged if you don't have energy really early like Michelle did. For me, it took a little more time. It was so worth the wait. The next product I added, I did Slim and then Probio 5. And the next thing I added was the X Factor Plus. So this is the old bottle. We've recently reformulated this. But I added the X Factor Plus because I read about how the thiamine in it could be so beneficial for people with thyroid issues. And um, the great thing about this multivitamin, I've tried a lot of multivitamins out there, is how bioavailable it is, which just means your body can actually absorb and use it. You've probably heard that saying, you are what you eat. And I've, I'm hearing more and more doctors and naturopaths say, no, 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 it's not that you are what you eat, you are what you absorb. Because like Kim said, you can be eating all the right things and if your gut health is out of whack or your blood sugar is out of whack, your body can't process and utilize it the way that your body was designed to do that. So I got interested in this X Factor uh, multivitamin, thought I'd give it a try. A couple of things I noticed right off the bat, the pills were small, they were easy to swallow, they did not upset my stomach. It was the only multivitamin I've ever been able to take on an empty stomach and not have it upset my vitamin or upset my stomach. And the best part was that 30 minutes later, because of course we pee every 30 minutes when we're drinking our body weight and <laughs> or half our body weight in ounces of water. Um, when I went to pee 30 minutes or an hour later, my pee was not bright orange or bright yellow or bright green or bright purple or whatever other color, the multivitamins. When I was taking them, I was just literally peeing them out. That's why it changes your color, your pee funky colors, because your body's just peeing them out. You're not actually absorbing and using them. And my pee didn't change colors with this. So that's kind of a very non-scientific way to see how bioavailable it is. What I noticed on it was that I started having even better energy. And like Kim said, I didn't notice an increase in energy when I first started taking it. I took it for two months, and then I quit taking it. And then I felt really sluggish, and I noticed a difference. The other thing I noticed was my hair and nails had kind of quit growing when my thyroid was so low. I literally didn't even own a pair of nail clippers for 10 years. Because when they grew at all, which they rarely did, they would just, yes, purp I have actually peed purple before, but from a multivitamin. <laughs> uh, but when my nails would grow, they were so brittle, they just break right off. I mean, I just didn't even need nail clippers. So I started noticing my nails growing really strong, my hair growing super fast. I would go six to eight months between haircuts, and I suddenly needed one every six weeks. I was getting shaggy and long. So um, I, knew, I knew it was working for me. So here's the thing, two years into Plexus, I'm having all these great benefits. I've you know, lost weight, I've lost inches, I'm sleeping better, I have great energy. And um, out of the blue, I started developing these breast cysts. Um, and, and the doctors to this day still don't know why. I spent hundreds of dollars and countless hours at various specialists trying to figure out what was going on. But about two weeks before my period, with my menstrual cycle would hit, I would get these breast cysts and they would get worse and worse and worse until the day of my period to the point where I couldn't even like hug my kids. My chest was so painful and they were large and lumpy and it was freaking me out with, you know, breast cancer and all of that it was just making me really nervous. And then my period would start, boom, they were gone. Weirdest thing. So we did all sorts of testing. I did natural paths. I did traditional doctors. We did everything we could. Um, and couldn't find anything wrong with me. I went to a natural path and he did extensive blood work and he said oh I'm sure that you're vitamin B deficient I'm sure because those are really hard to absorb even though I know you're on a multivitamin but those are really hard to absorb and I'm sure you're magnesium deficient I know you're on the bio cleanse but that's kind of hard to absorb too so I'm sure you're magnesium I'm sure you're chromium I'm sure all these things my blood tests come back all of those levels that I was taking for my plexus were awesome but I was very low in some trace minerals and I was also low in vitamin K and um, so he put me on a couple other things along with my plexus, and it helped a little, but it wasn't significant. I was still dealing with this monthly issue. Well, at convention this year, they announced that they were reformulating the X Factor into this X Factor Plus. And what they did is they took all the good things about the X Factor. I forgot to mention one of the reasons this is so bioavailable. Um, two things. It has an aloe blend, and it's not just like aloe juice. It's a patented aloe blend. It comes from specific parts of the plant that helps to increase the absorbability of the other vitamins in there by up to 300%. And then it also has, um, this had methylated folate in it. Um, and met, about half the population has an MTHFR, I think I said that right, gene mutation, which just make, means that you can't take folate and chemically change it into a way that your body can absorb. So you can take all the folate in the world that you want and your body's not absorbing it. This is already methylated for your body, so it doesn't matter if you have that gene mutation. So I knew I was getting some good benefits, but when they announced at convention that they were adding vitamin K and they were adding trace minerals and they were adding a polyphenol or a, 
sorry, a polyphenol blend that helped with hormonal issues. Now, specifically what it's been clinically studied for is menopausal issues, including hot flashes, anxiety, and sleeping issues. But it, they talked, when they talked about menopausal issues, I went, hormones, and something's wrong with mine. And I got onto this vitamin. I was super excited to try it. And at the end of my first month, I went through a complete cycle with no breast cysts. I still have no idea. I'm now on my third month of it, still no breast cysts at all. I am totally thrilled. All my hormonal issues have been cleared up with this particular multivitamin. A couple other things about it. So it has methylated folate, like I mentioned. It also has methylated B12. My natural path was floored when he saw my vitamin B levels. He's like, I never see enough person with autoimmune issues with these kinds of awesome vitamin B levels. That was this. Um, the 50 trace minerals is huge. Even if we're eating healthy, even if we're eating organic, our soil has been so depleted of magnesium and other trace minerals that a lot of those minerals just aren't in our food sources anymore. And so that is really key to getting that in here. Um, the polyphenols I already mentioned. Oh, besides the polyphenols helping with hormonal balance, they also help with gut health. So they help along with the vital biome, along with the probio 5, along with the prebiotics that are in the slim. They have clinical studies that backs that up, that this actually helps to promote, not only promote the good bacteria in your gut, but it also helps to re reduce the production of undesirable compounds like ammonium. So this is really, really good for you. It's also non-GMO, vegetarian, and gluten-free. When to take it? It is best absorbed when it's taken with food, but you can take it anytime just like a lot of the Plexus products, which is awesome. Let's see, Candace said, do we know yet if they are keeping the old X factor for those who can't have vitamin K? Right now, they still have this available. I don't know if it will be indefinitely available or not, um, but for now it is still available. So you can also still order the original if you can't have the vitamin K. That's a great question, Candace. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'll see what I can find out. Um, last thing I wanna share real quick, Mega X. So Mega X is an omega vitamin. Most people probably heard that for brain health, joint health, and heart health, we should be on omega vitamins. We don't get enough omegas, right? The good omegas in our, in our diet. But I know most of us who've taken omegas, we take those big, huge horse pills. They taste like fish. They're nasty. They make us burp. Fish flavor. Well, if you can even swallow them. I don't have a hard time swallowing pills, but I have a hard time with those giant omegas. These little babies are, it's hard to tell on the camera, but they're teeny tiny. They're completely plant-based. Um, because of the way of the type of plant that they use, they're much, much more, again, bioavailable and absorbable than um, other plant-based omegas that are made like with hemp and things like that. This one is from the ahi flower. It's very absorbable, very usable by the body. Um, and it's um, no fishy burps. <laughs> Yay. I like to take this one because the biggest thing I noticed when I started taking the Mega X, I don't have any major joint or heart issues. But for me, I, I feel like I took... I don't know, like a sleep aid, like Valium almost, only I don't get that weird hangover the next day where I feel cruddy after taking a sleep aid. If I take my Mega X at night with my Probile 5, I just sleep like a log. So I really love that for that. Um, I'm going to real quick, does anybody have any questions about any of those products really quick? I know that was a lot. We didn't even cover all of our products. There's a few other ones, but these are kind of the key ones. Like Kim said, the ones that you just don't miss. For me, I never, ever miss my X Factor Plus anymore. It has helped me so much with my thyroid and my hormonal issues. And I never, ever miss the ProBio 5 and the BioCleanse. I'm with you, Kim. I will still, I'll even miss Slim every now and then, but I never miss those three. Those have been just the key ones for me. Um, yeah, Michaela, you're right. X Factor Plus is best taken with food just in general because when your body is digesting the food, it releases all those digestive enzymes. That's going to help with absorbing the nutrients in the X Factor as well. Um, but you can take it anytime. So anytime with food is best. Sometimes I take it with breakfast. Sometimes I forget and take it with lunch. There's been days I've forgotten and I've taken it with dinner. Take it when you remember. I've heard that it's best, like for most optimal, to break it up and take one with one meal and one with another meal because our bodies are designed to take in nutrients in small bits throughout the day rather than all of its nutrients at one time. But again, do what works for you. I, I can never seem to remember, so I just take two together and it works great for me. <laughs> um, okay, last testimonial real quick. I wanna hear Ashley McAvoy's story and then we'll wrap it up if anybody has questions kind of specific to their situation about products to use or how to use them. So Ashley, if you can unmute yourself. I don't know if I can stay unemotional after Michelle's because I can relate so much to that. So if I start sobbing, I blame her. I was 
fine, Michelle. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I think most of you do, but I'm Ashley McAvoy. I am 29. I'm about to turn 30 in a couple of weeks. And I have five kids, ages from 10 all the way down to 17 months. So if you hear screaming in the background, it's not an ex murderer. It's my five kids. No worries. Um, I looked into Plexus. The first I heard about it was back in 2014 in the spring. My cousins, Katie and Alyssa Conklin, were posting about this amazing product they were taking that was helping them with weight loss, and they felt great. They had all this energy. And I was pregnant with my fourth baby, anticipating the weight gain that would come after I had him because my body is backwards and I lose weight when I'm pregnant. And then I gain weight like a fat little chipmunk storing up fat for the winter when I'm breastfeeding. It is super frustrating because all my other friends are breastfeeding. They're like, oh, I'm getting so skinny. I love breastfeeding. And I'm like, oh, I hate you. Um, anyway, so I thought this might be something I can take like a year from now once I've weaned him because no doctor is going to say you can take a weight loss supplement when you're breastfeeding. Anyway, after about four months of bugging Katie, she finally was like, would you just take it to your doctor and ask? And so I did. And much to my surprise, the doctor approved the triplex and X factor for me to take. And I just wanted to lose weight. That's all I cared about. That's all I thought about. And I did. I lost about 25 pounds and two, pa two or three pant sizes in the first six weeks. But something even crazier happened. I went into a follow-up appointment with my rheumatologist because at 17 years old, I had been diagnosed with lupus. And this was after basically a lifetime of being sick. I was a sick baby. I was a sick toddler, sick kid. And then after about four years of being really, really ill as a teenager, I was finally diagnosed with lupus. So imagine being a 17-year-old kid and getting a diagnosis of a disease you'd never even heard of. But I knew I was sick. My friends knew I was sick. It was, I was living a nightmare. And then the medications they put me on for the lupus were almost, no, they were definitely worse than the symptoms of my autoimmune disease. A year after I was diagnosed with lupus, I was also diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I also have scoliosis in my lower back and I have a sprain to both my knees. So I had serious, I just had serious pain all the time. And it was something that finally, I was a single mom of two little girls. The side effects of the medications were no longer working for me. I couldn't function. I couldn't take care of my kids. I couldn't work the two jobs that I had. I had to go off of them. I was dropped by my doctor as a patient because I refused to take her drugs and I started seeking a more natural option. Plexus was not on my radar to help with my lupus. But I went into that appointment um, about I think it was about six months postpartum, had my labs drawn. My doctor calls me and tells me that there's got to be a mistake because there's no sign of disease for the first time in a decade, you guys. And he's like, you need to come back in three months because you should be in a flare up because three months before this, before I'd started on the products, I was showing signs of a flare up. Normally after I have a baby, that hormone shift would kick my lupus into high gear. Go back three months later, we do a repeat ultrasound of my hips and knees. And keep in mind, at my ultrasound the year before, they told me I was looking at full hip and knee replacements in the next five to 10 years because the damage was so bad. I was 26 years old when they told me that. Anyway, take my labs again, do my ultrasound again, get the phone call. You're still showing no sign of disease. And furthermore, your hips and knees look great. But I still want you to come back in three months because. This can't be something that's going to last. Come back three months later, same thing. No sign of disease. And I told him, I was like, I feel fantastic. I had never in my life, I kid you not, never in my life felt like that. I didn't know what it felt like to live. I didn't know what it felt like to not just be surviving each day. Like Michelle was saying, you just, you, you get through the day, but then at the end of the day, you feel this extreme guilt because you weren't the mom you wanted to be. At this point, I had four kids. I was questioning why I had four kids when I couldn't even take care of them. I was not the best wife. I was grumpy all the time. I was depressed. I couldn't go out in the sun without getting sick. I was literally having allergic reactions to being in the sunlight. I would get rashes. I would vomit. I would have a migraine that would last for days. So the time you know that my kids are home and I'm supposed to be having the most fun with them, Mommy can't even go outside because mommy will get so sick. Mommy can barely function staying inside. The last two summers have been amazing. I stay out with my kids. We have way too much fun. It has literally, it has changed every aspect of my life. I've gone from 
barely being able to do yoga and doing yoga because my doctor told me the only way your joints aren't going to get even worse is if you move them. And yoga was the only thing I was clear to do because everything else is too high impact. My joints were basically shredded. Don't do it. You cannot run. You cannot jump rope. Any kind of high intensity activity you need to avoid. I had to avoid even like certain carnival rides because my joints were such a mess and I would just hurt. It just hurt everything. Hurt. I didn't know what it was not to live in pain. I remember one day turning to my husband being like, I haven't taken an ibuprofen in I don't know how long. I was popping four of them at a time every four hours. My liver was 50% enlarged. I'm sure from all of the NSAIDs that I was taking. I had fatty liver disease. They couldn't explain it. I don't know how they couldn't explain it. They should have. I'm surprised they didn't know it was from all of the medication I was on. That corrected itself. My liver is functioning normal. I went from monthly kidney and UTIs, kidney infections and UTIs, to normal functioning kidneys, a normal flat, and I've had five kids, normal functioning bladder. I, I could go on for probably three hours and just list off all the health problems that I had and all of the benefits I've seen. I have been, I feel like I've been given a second chance. I feel like I get to live life like a healthy person. I work out five to six days a week. I am competing in the Mrs. Idaho pageant, which myself three years ago would have laughed at you because I couldn't commit to things. I could not commit to something three or four months out because I didn't know what three or four months from now was going to look like. I didn't know if I was going to be in a flare up and stuck in bed for weeks on end. So there was no way I was going to commit to something huge that I had to be on for because I didn't even know how to hardly be on for my family. And now I get to run around with my kids. I don't feel that nagging guilt because my life is a series of bad, worse, and slightly better days. And on my slightly better days, I would try to make up for the bad days, but still feel that guilt eating away at me. And I don't live in pain. And I think that's the most freeing part is to be able to feel my age. It used to be the running joke that I was a 90 year old trapped in a 20 something's body because I would get out of bed and my bones would creak and crack and I would groan and it would take me a few minutes to just stretch because if I stayed in one position for too long, my joints would lock. I had a couple of mornings, probably a month where my knees would just be stuck and it would literally take me five minutes to massage them. Sometimes I would have to get my husband or my kids bring me a heating pad just to get my knees to move enough that I could get out of bed. It shouldn't be a struggle in your 20s to get out of bed. I actually missed a couple of days of school in high school because my joints got so stiff that I could barely walk. So I feel it's kind of, it's kind of cliche, but I feel like a teenager. I think this is how I was supposed to feel all those years ago when instead I was going to doctor's appointments and on crazy medications and dealing with hospital visits and hospital stays. And now I rarely get sick. I'm going to knock on wood because now I'm going to get strep or something. But <laughs> I really do. Like I used to dread October to January because if anyone near me had even the smallest cold, I would have bronchitis and be down for months. I remember being pregnant with my third and having such severe bronchitis that I went to urgent care. My pull socks And that has been, I can't remember the last time it happened. I can't remember the last time that I was that sick. When I get sick, it's like a normal person. I get sick, I'm down for a few days, I'm back at life. And it is amazing. So if you're questioning if these products work, if you're wondering what all the hype is about, it's because, uh oh, I think my husband walked out. It's because of people like me and Kim and Michelle and hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other people who had these major health crises, crises that, it turns out we're rooted in their gut. Hold on, let me let my husband in. Sorry, honey. Um, and they went in and got to the root issue, the root cause of it, and got their lives back. I'll never go off the products. Like people ask me all the time, are you going to take Plexus all your life? And I say, yeah, because it's better than the prescription medications I was supposed to be taking all of my life. So awesome. that's my story. I could, like I said, I could go, I could go on for hours. And people have, John wants to say hi. No, he doesn't. <laughs> John can tell you all about how his gout doesn't bug him too. And then there's that luscious beard, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing, yes. Ashley. And um, we'll, wrap, we'll wrap this up pretty quick here. I just wanted to um, let you know, like everybody's kind of mentioned tonight, I mean, that's this really is the reason why all of us, Kim, Rachel, everybody who shared, Beth, Michelle, Ashley, and I are so passionate about sharing about these products because it helps people with, with really serious things and also with little things that just improve the quality of life and help them to, to find better health and vitality. Um, 
so that they can really fulfill whatever their life mission is. Um, this month, uh, Plexus is doing a promotion where if you go silver, which just means you have three other people order as whole, you know, even as a wholesale ambassador under you, um, you get a, a big promotion, a $200 um, promotion. And, um, you know, more importantly even than that is that it, these products just are changing people's lives. So if you've heard any stories tonight that made you think about a sister, a daughter, a friend, um, who may be struggling with one health issue or another, um, I really encourage you just to share and let them know about it. Just like you would share a new favorite restaurant you have or a new favorite exercise program you found, um, these things can really make a difference in people's lives. If you're kind of intimidated and you think, well, gosh, all that information, we just downloaded a whole lot of information and you're thinking, I don't even remember half of what they talked about. The great thing is that Plexus has made us available to us a lot of really easily to sh easy to share tools. Um, for example, the X Factor Plus, if you go into your back office, um, which is where you order your product, and you click on tools, and then you click on shareables, there are shareable information sheets about each of the products that are detailed. So this X Factor Plus one, it's like 11 pages long. It has frequently asked questions. It literally lists every ingredient and tells you where they get that ingredient from why it's higher quality than other ingredients out there, and what it helps with. Each ingredient is listed out. It, all of the clinical studies are in the footnotes of those pages. So you don't have to know everything. If somebody asks you a question about, well, why do you take that multivitamin? You say, here, let me send you the information sheet on it. You go into your back office, you hit share, and you can send it by email or private message on Facebook or by text message. It's that simple. You don't have to know everything you heard tonight. But what we hope is that you might have been inspired by what you heard and recognize that these products are very powerful and that they're making a real difference in people's lives and that they can make a difference in the lives of the people around you. So if you have any other questions, we'll go ahead and stop the recording at this point.